Wow, 70 plus mile an hour winds can really do some damage. Hi, this is Stan. Welcome back to the Crow's Nest Railroad, except, well, a couple things. I'm having to do voiceover right now because my video camera was so low on a battery charge that I just couldn't take the time to record as I was out in the field. But anyway, I was out at Maricopa Live Steamers and they had some really bad storm damage. Could have been a lot worse. Somebody could have gotten hurt. But the winds really blew up strong and it lifted a whole section of a front, like a patio cover. It pulled the roof sections up and blew them over the containers and dropped them over in the railroad yard. I'll show you that in just a second. But here's a look at what a 4x4 post uh, looks like when there's not any storm straps on it and it just yanks them right out of the ground. All right, take a look at this. Wow, this roof section blew all the way over the container buildings. We think it went into the trees up there and then fell back down. One section landed here. You can see it's crunched up on the transfer, the manual transfer table. The electric transfer table, the powered one, I don't think was affected. It's being worked on right now. And then there's another chunk of the roof over here that got crunched up against the fence and it's laying across the track and created a big mess over there. And then the wind took out a major piece of the trunk on this tree, blocking the track. And then just for comic relief, somebody's chair got attached to the fence. And like I said, the good news, nobody got hurt. We're thankful for that. Here's a couple of quick pictures of some more of the damage. Well, let's stop crying over spilled milk and get busy trying to clean up some of this stuff. First thing we did was to make an inventory of what we thought were the damaged locations and the extent of it. And then since this one roof section was already planted right on the transfer table by mother nature, well, we thought we'd go ahead and use that table to help move it out of the way. And with that section out of the way where the front loader can easily get at it now let's look at this other section which is a bit of a mess so we're going to have to dismantle this and uh, take the pieces away individually
Well, you get the picture. Anyway, we got everything torn apart and stacked in a nice tidy pile, and look at that. Nothing like a piece of steel for a good disassembly tool. And with that, we took a crack at the tree, cutting a few things up, but alas, we could not keep the chainsaw running, so we had to call it a day. Anyway, hey, thanks for watching. This is Stan saying, join me right here next time on the Crow's Nest Railroad. See you then.